So far we've written this code in TypeScript, but we weren't using any of TypeScript capabilities. It looks just like any other JavaScript code you ever written. Now, this code has a flaw in it, because I need to type this exactly the same for every order that I add. If by mistake I'm going to add another order and say order ID, and then say customer ID, we will get an entry here, but without values. And those of you who are uh, paying a lot of attention, you can see that I've made a spelling mistake here, or a casing mistake here, between those entries. And this is a huge flow when you develop with JavaScript that gave us a lot of pain. And this is why, you know, this is the main features that people came up with when they created TypeScript. The idea behind TypeScript is to allow checking when you develop, to allow IntelliSense, to allow uh, errors to be visible to you when you develop. Now, how do we utilize this in our case? So far we've defined an object without any definition, we just created it in place. But let's say that we want to enforce some rules on it. So to do that, we can create an interface and say that this is using that interface. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to do over here, I'm going to say export interface order. And I'll define that that order needs to have an order ID, which is a number. And it needs to have a customer ID, which is a string. After making this definition, I can go ahead and say that my array is an array of orders. Okay? Now, by doing that, you can see immediately that this was highlighted in red, okay? Showing me that this is a spelling mistake and it's telling me that it just doesn't match the design. If I go ahead here and press control space, it will fix it to a small d. And if I delete it and press control space, it will allow me to choose what I want to put here. Okay, so I can now have IntelliSense. And same for the ID. And now if I want to add another order, my life is a lot easier because immediately I get an IntelliSense. Okay, so what TypeScript has added to the mix is the ability to define types and based on these types, get IntelliSense and easier ways of writing our code. Where we are, pretty much it makes sure, or it helps us make less mistake and find those mistakes earlier. Let's review the changes that we've done to utilize these benefits. So we've added an interface called order. Okay, we told it that it has an order ID and customer ID. And then we declared that our array was an array of type orders and that made sure that the typing will be correct. That allowed us to check the intelligence, the typing, the naming, and all of those common mistakes. Now one more thing you need to know about this. If I'm going to create another one, and I'm going to say here that I want to have order ID, and that's it, I will also get an error, okay? Because I didn't provide the customer ID. So we can define these properties optional by saying question mark over here. When we say question mark, we mean that it's not mandatory, it's an optional setting, okay? So for this order, we'll just have the order number. Cool. Let's go ahead and uh, make sure that we reviewed all our changes, created an interface, made the properties optional, and then made our array an array of orders, which allowed us to keep type safety.